Spiders. Just the word sends shivers down many people's spine. There are hundreds of species of spiders across the globe, some of which are found in deep, dark places. About a year ago, we discovered a place that we named the Spider Tunnel. This eerie, man-made, cave-like structure was home to fish, moths, cave crickets, crayfish, and of course, spiders. This adventure has sparked an interest in spiders for me. A species that I was once afraid of became extremely fascinating. I wanted to learn more about these terrifying and misunderstood creatures. In the spring of 2020, when I was filming peregrine falcons at the Bhutan Reservoir, I found a place that was crawling with spiders, the Washington Street Bridge, or as I like to call it, the Spider Bridge. By daylight, the only sign of these creatures are their vacant webs. However, when night falls upon the land, the spiders emerge. In this adventure, I'm going to try to head to the spider bridge by nightfall in order to find and document the various spider species that can be found here. As the sun began to slowly hide behind the horizon, the spiders emerged. It wasn't long until I came across my first species. On this bridge, there are hundreds of spiders, each building a web in be between the bars. The reason there are so many spiders here is because of the abundance of food. There are multiple streetlights upon the bridge, and each streetlight attracts a plethora of gnats, flies, and moths. Webs built closer to the light seem to have a better chance of getting insects. While their webbing may look delicate to humans, it is actually quite strong. Spider silk is among the toughest material in nature and is actually five times stronger than steel. Some scientists estimate that if spider silk was as thick as a pencil, it could stop a jet mid-flight. The first species that I found here was the spotted orb weaver. Spotted orb weavers are a fairly common species here, being found near bodies of water. They build orb-shaped webs, hence the name orb weaver. Spotted orb weavers feed on almost anything that gets caught in their webs, including other spiders. As with most species, mating is lethal in the world of spiders. After breeding, the female will sometimes kill and eat the male. The way spiders eat their prey, however, is both fascinating and disturbing. After their prey has gotten stuck in the web, the spider will inject it with a venomous bite, paralyzing it. One interesting thing to note is that all species of spider are in fact venomous. However, each spider has a different amount of venom, making some species much more dangerous than others. Once the victim is paralyzed, the spider will then vomit digestive fluids on their prey, liquefying the innards. The spiders then suck up the liquid meat from their prey. Despite having poor eyesight, Spiders are sensitive to their environment. Their long, hairy legs are probably their most horrifying feature. However, these legs are an important part of this creature. Since they are both nocturnal and have poor eyesight, spiders use their long legs to feel around their environment. The hair on their legs are also very sensitive and work almost like whiskers. After searching around for a bit, I came across my next species, the long-jawed orb weaver. This species has a much more slender build than the other orb weavers. They are equipped with long, sharp jaws that help them eat food and also help in mating by preventing the female from eating the male. One thing to note about these spiders is their unique camouflaging technique. These spiders typically live on trees, and when they feel threatened, they will stretch their legs straight out in front of them and behind them to simulate a tree branch. Long-jawed orb weavers feed near the water's edge in order to be more successful in catching insects. Some other species that I came across were a long-legged sack spider, a hammock spider, cross orb weavers, and even a false black widow. However, I didn't get much footage of them. I not only found some new species, but also discovered some incredible behaviors in previously discovered ones. 
whether it was web building, feeding, or fighting. The bridge was alive with spiders. To many people, this would be a nightmare. However, the more you learn about these incredible arachnids and their various contributions to the ecosystem, you may become fascinated in these creatures, just like I did. Without to search for spiders, make sure to bring a field guide or use your phone to properly identify the spider species that you come across. Most are completely harmless and safe to interact with. However, some can be deadly, especially if you have an allergic reaction. Check out our other video where we explored the spider tunnel, and be sure to subscribe for new wild adventures.